Captain Sol, we have taken over government. We will blow you out of state house. In the early hours of October 1997, the soldiers, led by Captain Solo, broke into an arms depot, assaulted army officers, and then proceeded to seize state-owned Zambia National Broadcasting Corporation, ZNBC Studios. Digging in the history of Zambia, we look at the failed 1997 coup d'etat aimed at then former president Dr. Frederick Jacob Titus Chiluba. Stephen Lungo or Captain Stephen Lungo also known as Captain Solo born on 6 January 1962 at Mansa General Hospital in Mansa District of Zambia died on 11th August 2012 Stephen Lungo was a former Zambia Army Captain who in 1997 together with the late Captain Jack Chitty attempted a coup d'etat during the rule of the then President Dr. Frederick Chiluba in the early hours of October 1997 the soldiers, led by Captain Solo, broke into an arms depot, assaulted army officers, and then proceeded to seize state-owned Zambia National Broadcasting Corporation, ZNBC Studios. Captain Solo claimed to be representing the National Redemption Council and announced over state radio that he had taken over the country. He further informed his countrymen that he was dismissing the chiefs of the army and the police and would give President Frederick Chulu until 9 a.m. to surrender or be killed. Captain Solo, together with 54 others, were arrested by the special government forces barely after three hours of taking over and an official announcement was broadcast to announce that the coup had been quelled. In 2003, under the leadership of the late president, Levy Patrick Monowas, the long-awaited trial was over and 44 out of the 54 soldiers were found guilty of treason by the high court. They were sentenced to death by hanging, but they immediately appealed to the Supreme Court. In their appeal against the ruling, the soldiers argued that they were caught up in the coup unintentionally. During the trial, Captain Solo confessed to being the mastermind of the coup plot and begged for forgiveness. He was, however, adamant that he was right to try to overthrow Chiluba and his government because it was riddled with corruption. Other people were also arrested and tried in connection with the failed coup, which included high-profile figures such as the first Republican president, Dr. Kenneth David Kaunda. I said I would not shave until I was told why I was in prison. Today, today, God is great indeed. I'm out, but I've not been told why I was in prison for five months and seven days. Why? I still don't know. Name <laughs> ambassadors know that the premises, the MMD movement for Mandrax dealers, MMD movement for mass destruction, all the promises they made about accountability, about transparency, about governance, good governance, all these things, they've forgotten them. Princess Nakatindiwin, an opposition leader, Dina Mulia Mungomba. Captain Solo received a presidential pardon after serving 13 years imprisonment by the then third Republican president, Rupia Banda, on 28 December 2010. Then President Levi Monawas 
had also exercised mercy on him by commuting his death sentence to a 20-year jail term. Solo said although he had walked back to freedom, he was economically bound and depended on a certain pastor for shelter, food, and clothing. During his stay on earth, he made peace with Frederick Chuluba, asking for forgiveness and willingly Chuluba forgave the repentant captain. To begin the press conference, I'll ask um, Bishop Punjobu to open in prayer. It is my prayer and request that those, especially the recruits who are still got time to serve in the army, they can be restored as I still got the energy. Maybe those who have finished their sentences, they can be discharged honorably and let everything be born by Misa. I forgive you from the very bottom of my heart. Stephen Lungu died on 11 August 2012, aged 50, at the Kanyama Clinic in Lusaka after a long battle with TB, which had deteriorated his health since his release from prison. I, 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 I did. I'm saying I'm, I was one of the mastermind uh, together with my late friend, Captain Chiti. I said they regretted. He was survived by three children. Others still remember him as a hero, while others say he was a coward. This is the history of Zambia. Keres of Ngambela TV, brought to you by Maboshe Nyambe and Cyrus Maboshe.